In this one, we're going to create a NetSuite to Microsoft SharePoint integration and integration cloud. So let's get started. The, the first thing we're going to need to do is go to the homepage of our NetSuite account. Uh, go to Setup, Company, and then let's go to Enable Features. Then we're going to go to the Suite Cloud tab. And then in this one, we're going to make sure that the client subscript, suite script, and the server suite script uh, are checked. And we're going to do the same thing in the Suite Talk section. Make sure the SOAP web services and the wet REST web services are checked. In the Manage Authentication section, select Token Based Authentication. and then click save so we've properly registered with Oracle NetSuite and enabled feature the right features next let's assemble the Oracle NetSuite uh, the Oracle NetSuite WSDL URL <clears throat> so go to the home page of our NetSuite account and we're going to write down our re specific release because we're going to need it uh, to configure the NetSuite adapter connection and integration cloud. So make sure you write down your release somewhere. Next we are uh, going to set up the prerequisites for the token based authentication security policy. So if you want to use token-based token based authentication or TBA security policy with the Oracle NetSuite adapter, we're going to need to fulfill some prereqs uh, specific to this security policy in addition, in addition to the general prerequisites. Um, so we're going to need it, uh, some credentials, a consumer key slash client ID, consumer secret slash client secret, a token, a token secret, and an account ID. So let's go about getting these credentials. So the first we're gonna so the first thing we're gonna do is create a role with token based authentication permissions. Then we're gonna create a user account for Oracle integration and then create an integration record for Oracle Oracle integration. Um, and then create an access token for the user account and then finally make a note of the NetSuite account ID. So let's get started with step one of five, which is create a role with a token based authentication permissions. So we're going to go to setup, then user roles, then manage roles, then new. Okay, we're going to give it a name, or like, for example, Oracle integration role. In the center type, we're going to do System uh, Administrator Center. In the subsidiary section, we're going to give it all, select all. And then in the permissions tab, we're going to add some required permissions for this role from the four available subtabs, namely transactions, reports, list, and setup. <clears throat> so to add a permission, perform the following actions after selecting any of these subtabs. Um, we're gonna need the select a permission and level for every permission. So we're gonna, we're gonna need to, some of the required ones that we're gonna need to do, go to setup, go to token access management, level full, add go to user user access tokens full level full add um and then we need to do enable soap web services add Then we're going to save this role. And 
and we can scroll down and view our roles. So this is the one I've done, I configured before, and this is the one that we just did. Uh, Oracle Integration Role and Oracle Integration Role 2. So now that we've created a role with uh, TBA permissions, let's create a user account for Oracle Integration. <clears throat> so we're going to go to List, Employees, Employees, and then New. Click New, or we can just... new and then on this employee page in the name field uh, give it a name like integration user 06 In the email field, just give it an email. And the subsidiary drop down field, select where you want them to be based out of, do your headquarters. Um, and now in the access tab, uh, we can do give access and manually assign or change password, give it a password, this user password. From the role, select the role that we created. Add. Now we're going to click save. Now we've created a role, created a user, and now let's create an integration record. Um, so, so this is step three of five. So Let's go to setup and integration, then manage integrations. And new. Give it a name like Oracle integration. Token based authentication two state make sure that's enabled um, on the authentication tab make sure we select token based authentication De uh, deselect authorization flow and also authorization code grant and then we're going to click save Um, and then finally, uh, next we're going to create an access token for the user account. So go to setup. So we're going to go to setup. User roles, access tokens, and new. Uh, applications like the Oracle Integration TV2, Integration 06, 05 is for the t just TBA1 role, Integration Role 2, 
and then leave the token field chance save and now we're gonna shot down our credentials here they're only going to be showed the first time so you got to make sure you uh, get them down so token take down our token ID and then our token secret Um, so if you lose them, you have to create a new token and attain a new set of values. So we're going <laughs> to hit the back button. We see our tokens generated on the access tokens tab. Uh, so we're going to need to view our NetSuite account RD next. So we're going to go to setup, integration, SOAP web service preferences, and take a note of our account ID here. Copy that down as well. This is all values that we'll need for the NetSuite adapter connection. And then we are ready to create our NetSuite connection and integration cloud. So you can see I've done it successfully before with the NetSuite adapter and then also use the REST adapter for the Oracle content management for Microsoft SharePoint, but we'll get into that next. So we are going to create our uh, NetSuite adapter, connect to it, select NetSuite, give it a name, NetSuite. MS or Microsoft SharePoint. It's a invoke role. Click create. So now we're just gonna copy and paste with their properties before a WSDL, which was in the format before, which with our specified version here, and then change this to token-based authentication because that's what we've set it up for. So get our token. ID our token secret our account ID
and then go back to NetSuite to get our consumer key and consumer secret. So we're going to go to setup, integration, manage integrations. Get our client ID down. Consent client secret. We see the connection is set up successfully. Click save. And now we can go back. And then add this to an integration. So we go to integrations, create basic routing app to app. Drag it as an invoke. Nest Suite 2. Click Next. We're going to want to map over all our objects, so scroll all the way down, hit the shift key, map them over, next, and done. We see our NetSuite adapter. <coughs> next, we are going to create our Microsoft SharePoint content management uh, instance and connect that to NetSuite in this integration.